This is another model in the Corgi Hauliers of Renown series. It's a truck in the colours of CJ Haynes & Sons which is a UK Haulier. As usual for Corgi models there's a collector card and it tells you some details about the livery. And in this case it's interesting to note that CJ Haynes was founded in 1920. This is a limited edition model with only 750 made and the card gives you the unique serial number for the model in the series. Anyway enough chit chat so let's get the model out. It consists of a curtain side trailer. And the other part is the Scania R620 tractor unit. And last and probably least is a bag of small parts. The only assembly to do is to kit out the tractor with its mirrors and aerials. So we'll start with the door mirrors and they can be fitted either way up but the correct way is with the smaller mirror at the top. And there's also another small mirror which goes over the passenger side door. That one over the door was a looser fit but the one that fits into the visor at the front is a very tight fit. And that's much more preferable because it avoids you looking like an idiot scrambling around on the floor when one drops out. Only one more mirror to fit and whilst this might look easy it's taken years of practice to fit the mirrors with my hands whilst holding the camera with my foot. The last bit of assembly work is to fit the roof aerials on either side. And on this particular model they're also quite a good fit and they slot into place really quite easily and they stay in place. The chassis of the Scania is all metal and it has the usual thin looking tyres. But they are mounted on smart coloured wheels which look attractive. Up on the roof of the cab the detailing includes a light bar and air horns and the general level of detailing is very good with the paintwork and graphics being a standout aspect of the model. The graphic design is really detailed just like on the real truck and it includes some small writing which is perfectly legible. The really nice graphics continue on the back of the cab and are also chromed exhaust pipes and coiled airlines. One particularly nice bit of paintwork detailing is the wheel arches. There are thin flexible mud flaps with the Scania name at the rear and they're also at the front too, but a bit too long on the review model. The trailer chassis is simple with a dimpled coating underneath, but at least the tyres are fat enough. The front is metal and plain, but it does have a fleet number. And at the rear the door bolts and hinges are in the casting, and the graphics are nice and sharp. But the real plus point is the curtain side, it's a plastic moulding, but it looks realistic. The graphics are nice and sharp and look good, and the tie downs are very nicely detailed. So let's take the Scania for a spin on the Cranes etc test track. And it rolls ok without being a runaway. But one feature that's good to see is that this Corgi model has steering. It feels notched rather than continuously variable but it's got a decent range of movement. So it poses well even if it's a slightly reluctant roller. The trailer features are simple as is normal for a Corgi model, the axles turn well. And on this trailer the landing legs have cammed feet which can be put in a down or up position. With the cam feet down the trailer stands reasonably level when not connected to the tractor. Moving swiftly along let's join up the tractor and trailer and on this model you can connect the airlines from the tractor into the trailer. They're not a very tight fit but with care they'll stay in place while you pop the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel on the tractor. Fortunately on this model if the airlines do pop out of the trailer there's enough space to just get your fingers in to pop it back in again. But once it is all set up correctly there's nothing to stop you taking an extended test drive around the tabletop. In summary this is a well made model from Corgi and it looks great. The detailing is good but it's the paint and graphics which make it stand out. There's not many features but the working steering is well worthwhile. If you want a truck that looks really good, this one's highly recommended. 